Hi, this is Steve. Just a short video to show you how to start and stop the two different web servers that are installed on these PCs. We've installed the open source Apache web server and we've installed the Internet Information Server or IIS from Microsoft. And depending on which software you're using, you need to start or stop each of these two different servers. They don't coexist, so one needs to be on and the other off. First of all, let's prove that neither are running. So here's a browser, and if I just type in localhost, hit enter, this page can't be displayed. So neither web server is running. First thing to do then is to go along to the administrative tools under all control panel. So there's the control panel, and you can see administrative tools just here in the second column. If I just click on that, up comes the administrative tools dialog. And if I hunt down through that, I can see, first of all, the IIS manager and also services. So let's start off by commencing with Apache. So if I run the services, clicking on that, up comes the list of services. And if I hunt through the list of services, you'll see there's Apache. And I can start the service over here on the left. So let's start that. There, so it now tells me I could stop it or restart it. So that server's running. Let's go back to the web browser and just reload that, and you'll see that immediately it brings up the map server for Windows home page. And that set of software was installed together with Apache. So that's the uh, that's Apache running. So let's go and turn that off again. So if I go back to services, there's Apache, and if I just hit stop. So Apache is now off. I'll just prove that, run that again. There we are. So now I need to turn on IIS. So what I do now is I go along back to the uh, administrative tools, and you'll see that there's the Internet Information Services Manager. And if I run that, I'm showing a list of the various websites that are running on this server. In this case, there's just one, and it's called the default website. And what I can do is I can click on that, and then over here on the right-hand side, I can actually start and stop and restart just the same that IIS server. So let's do that. Start. Oh, I've got to start the whole, the whole thing. So if I click on the whole computer there and start the overall server, pardon me, then I can click on the default website and start that. So that's now running. And if I come back...